And the hostage-taking drama at a remote gas complex in Algeria finally ends, but in a bloodbath. On Saturday, the Algerian army countered a final assault to end the four-day siege by militants at the Inamenus gas plant. All the seven remaining hostages were killed during the attack, bringing the total death toll to 23. Many of the victims are believed to be foreigners. Several foreigners from the UK, Japan and Norway are still unaccounted for. Authorities say in total more than 30 kidnappers were also killed in the standoff. Algeria's interior ministry says the army managed to free 685 Algerian workers and 107 foreigners. The hostage-takers hostage were demanding an end to the French military intervention in Mali. Well, from Detroit, I'm joined by Abiyomi Azikiwe, editor of Pan-African Newswire. Welcome to the program, sir. Ms. Azikiwe, in your opinion, uh, how do you assess Algeria's handling of the hostage crisis? The uh, Algerian government was in a very difficult situation. Uh, they had to move quickly, they felt, in order to anticipate and possibly head off a U.S., uh, French, or NATO military intervention. Uh, there were many uh, foreign nationals uh, from these European countries, as well as other states uh, that were involved uh, in this standoff that's been going on now for four days. It is reported that, that some of the uh, cap captives uh, were uh, intercepted on uh, two buses that was uh, transporting personnel uh, to uh, the N. Aminas uh, plant, uh, a very important and strategic uh, facility that supplies natural gas uh, to Norway and other uh, countries in Europe. I think that they felt uh, if they did not act quickly uh, that they would be in an even deeper crisis, both internationally as well as domestically. Indeed, and with some of the hostages killed in the drama, can the dead people's uh, respective countries uh, claim compensation? This is going to be a legal issue uh, that undoubtedly uh, will go on uh, for some time. Uh, it's very interesting that uh, hundreds of Algerian nationals were released uh, by the group, uh, which uh, calls itself the Signatories in Blood. Uh, purportedly, it is headed uh, by an Algerian national, uh, Mr. Mokhtar, uh, Bel Mokhtar. And of course, they put forward a series of very political demands, uh, calling for the succession of uh, French uh, military uh, bombing, as well as uh, occupation of the neighboring West African state of Mali. They also call for the refusal of uh, Algeria to allow France to utilize its airspace in order to carry out these attacks against Mali. In addition, uh, they call for the release of prisoners held in the United States, purportedly uh, uh, connected uh, with the 1993 bombing of the World Trade Center, and also for the release of a Pakistani national, Dr. Afia Siddiqui, who now is serving an 80-plus year sentence uh, in U.S. maximum security prisons. These are very political demands, and of course they have implications uh, both uh, within Algeria as well as internationally. Indeed. Abiyomar Zikiwe, editor of Pan-African Newswire. Thanks for your thoughts there, sir.